And Debbie, I want to start with you. If after the election you have the chance to form a government, is that what you want to do? Or do you want to continue sort of your activism within Parliament? I think you can do both. Um, but we will have uh, some big negotiating aspects, which is about our wealth tax. Because we know that if we can end poverty, then we can address some of the complex social issues that everyone's talking about, whether it be the, so the that, justice... So that, the that's prisons. the bottom line for you, it's, the wealth tax? It's one of them, but I guess the other side of it is, from our perspective, we go into those negotiations with a, an intergenerational focus. Mm. And I think sometimes it's been really hard for analysts to get their head around because we're not transactional, we're not triannual. And you know we know that we're called radical, but you are considered radical until you're transformational. And that's always been our, our focus. Okay. I've got a bottom line for you straight up. She set the bar, everybody. David, I'm going to come to you next. Because last week you sort of set the cat amongst the pigeons by uh, threatening to only give the National Party uh, confidence and not supply. And I just wondered, do you regret that now? Because the people voting for you um, want to give you the privilege of forming a government, not uh, sort of wreaking havoc on the national, on a right-leaning uh, well, I, certain, I certainly regret the way some people interpret it because they saw that as being our sort of first preference, which it's not. A party vote for ACT is first and foremost a party vote to change the government because this lot have to go. They've done too much damage so already. you are sticking second, to it. That's what second, I'm hearing. Second of all, uh, it is a vote to have our first preference is a tight working relationship with the Nats. Chris Luxon and I have a good personal relationship. Our parties have some different views, but we believe that we can work strongly together. Join Joining hands around the cabinet table in order to put in place a plan to fix the economy, make the streets safe, Winston make Peters? the streets safe again, and also unite this country that's been so divided by the current government. But now it's it's also true um, that in a scenario where you, you can't agree that you've got a real problem. But I think what you've seen over the past week I'm is talking... both parties talking about exactly how we intend to work together tightly to solve those problems because there's too much. I'm getting at stake lost, David. I'm getting lost. Yeah. So is it so you remain? You want to keep that option live and open. You are telling the people who are voting for you right now that you will, if you decide, uh, only su give confidence to national, not supply. I think, I think You're keeping it open. I think it's always a mathematically logical option, but uh, okay, what I'm saying... Okay, it's an option. It's an option. I want to get but to... That, but that's always been true. Okay, so but you're bringing it up in an election campaign, which makes it uh, much more interesting. Um, you are promising, David, New Zealanders real change if they vote for you. So what is your absolute bottom line? How are you going to deliver that real change, uh, knowing that you won't get all of your policies over? What is the priority well, I think that's, your vote, that's for your voters? It's absolutely true, but I don't think it's fair to say that a party like ACT is on one issue. Actually, I know that people in three years' time, if we've been part of a government, will judge us on whether we've cut government if, waste, red David, tape David, I'm asking about coalition negotiations, and we're getting yeah, bogged down well, in I'm, um, I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm giving you the, the theory answer. of government. Okay. I want to talk okay. about, no, if actually, you hold I'm, the balance I'm of power... Really I'm, 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 giving, I'm giving you <laughs> outcomes that people in New Zealand are interested in. Well, the, and the outcomes the economy, that people are interested in crime, is and what it's you will push for. And unity for our country. What will they get from you if you hold the balance of power? I, what will they I definitely know, get? I know that in three years' time, people will judge us if we've been in government well, the, based on whether or not we made more progress in those three areas than National would have made alone. That's if, what real change David, if like. there aren't any bottom lines, Rebecca, that's OK too. Rebecca, Winston. Can we have the same degree of time to answer yeah, this question? Bottom line with you. But it's gone on and on and on. Let me, let, let me just tell me this. Let me tell me no, this. No, you're not. You keep going around this in circles. This is a party... Yeah. This is a party has been around for 30 years and has never had a cabinet minister. They've been around for 51 years and never had a cabinet minister. And you've heard that long answer. Now, I can't believe we're facing a crisis in this election. And I tell you what, no matter what we think of each other, we've got to have to form a much better government. That means you better get some adults in the room and leave the trousers on, for goodness sake. Not behave... <laughs> Not behave in a petulant way, for goodness sake. You can't, you can't run a government where every, every bill and act is going to have to be approved by another party. You will paralyse the government. This is the lack of, an ex of experience in this matter. And so all I'm saying to you is the mainstream media are not going to decide this issue. The public are. And but thank you for that. The public are voting for you, Winston, and they're voting for you with the belief that you will form a government. If you are able to do that, don't they deserve transparency ahead of time about what, you, uh, what your priority will be when you enter that negotiating well, room, what your bottom isn't line that just, is. Isn't that just brilliant? I've been in more negotiations than anybody else, but let me ask you one so thing. So what will you be let pushing me one, for? Let me ask you one thing. This idea that you can resolve it beforehand would be perfect if the other parties will tell me what they'll agree to before the election and the same thing after it. You see what I mean? 
So what you're saying is that anything can happen in that negotiating room? I know, we've ruled out Labour. We're not going that racist separatist path anymore in this country. Full stop. I have one more question for you, then I'm going to come to you, Marama. Um, Thank you. I want, I've got one more question, which is, can people trust you to follow the, uh, the majority vote, to go with the, the party that gets the biggest vote in oh, this excuse, election? Yeah, excuse me, excuse me. You don't understand why we didn't go with the majority vote in 2017, do you? Will you go with it this no, time? You, no, you don't understand how critical it was, because I was talking to a man who, in his first conversation, says to me, they're about to roll me. I don't think his I'm going to get an answer English. here, so I'm going to go to Madam. Give me another Madama. Madama. Yeah. Bottom lines for you, priorities, top priorities. What can you tell your voters about what you will deliver for them? Firstly, Matua trying to make out that he's the adult in the room. It is not adult at all. All to pick on rangatahi and their pride in being indigenous, especially when we can focus on how to end poverty. So I want to ask viewers, Rebecca, about coalition. Does do people actually trust that it's going to be close? Do people actually trust that Luxon is going to be able to manage these two? Like for real. And whereas, like, we, we've been not, we can be friends, eh? Yeah. So, like, what are the choices? Us, no. we, what are the choices? And we have been clear about our priorities. If people want a wealth tax enough to put more money in the pockets of low and middle incomes to end so homelessness, they can tax. vote for it. We've been transparent about our solutions. So, a people wealth vote tax. for it so that we can get these across the line. I've got it, but I do want to pick up on your point, Madama, because it is a spicy one. David, Winston, can you two work together? I tell you what's going to decide this decision, and, 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 this, and the answer is, this country is such a serious crisis. I'll work I'm with anyone. I'm asking you if you can work my, with my, Me and my colleagues, listen up. Listen. We'll up. work with anyone to try and fix it now. So that's a yes, David. Will you work with Winston? Look, I think ultimately, if a parliament's elected by the people, then you make it work. But I just say it's not credible for the guy who's had more chances to fix New Zealand's problems than anyone oh, else. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. He just Here we said, go again. Said, Rebecca, 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 I'm sorry. Will you vote? Rebecca, it's like an arsonist showing up dressed as a fireman saying, I'm here to help. Oh, and fix it all. Oh, Rebecca, oh, it's like an arsonist showing up dressed as a fireman saying, I'm here to help and fix it all for you. It's just not credible. You know something? I mean, this is the guy. Go and ask Jim Bolger and go and ask Helen Clark whether I can be trusted. He's saying you're an arsonist. I don't think him. No, no, we, we, go, we can be trusted. We can be trusted. You must be yes, desperate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but really, seriously, though, if you get you two across the cabinet table from each other, we've all seen oh, tonight well. what that looks like. So, could you work with Winston? Look, I think actually the question will. is, can anyone? You know, nobody's been able to. Uh, he's fallen out with practically every person who's tried That's to true work. Too. Uh, in his history, this country has serious challenges. That is. This guy's had enough chances already. It's not clear why oh, he thinks David, he's David, David, another David. one. I, but it I, seems I, he's doing it all for his own purposes on, rather David, than New Zealand. Unbelievable. Look, I've had more court cases at my cost than all these guys got to put together. <laughs> and he's saying I'm doing it for my own purpose. Jesus. I'm beginning to pity Christopher. Luxon but he'll learn. days after the he'll election. Learn. But I want to thank you all for coming tonight and talking to voters. It is an important election, it's an important time, and people are looking around, and I hope that they've found uh, something in what you're saying. And thank you, Rebecca. Thank you. Thank you.